Okay, so now let's step into the coordinate grid and see how rotation actually works. So suppose we rotate a point around the origin, which is zero and zero. Now here, you'll need the three key rules that you'll want to remember. The first one is if you're rotating 90 degrees clockwise, then if your coordinates are x and y, they become y and minus x. Then if you're rotating 180 degrees, and again, you start with your coordinates x and y, the resultant coordinates become minus x, minus y. And if you're rotating 270 degrees clockwise, which also is the same as 90 degrees anti-clockwise, then your original coordinates x and y become negative y and positive x. So let's do an actual work example together. Let's take the point 2 and 3. So if you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, it becomes 3 and negative 2. And at 180 degrees rotation, it flips to negative 2, negative 3. And at 270 degrees clockwise, it becomes negative 3 and positive 2. Now, notice how the distance from the origin stays the same. It's only the orientation that changes. So you can almost picture it like turning a photo on your phone. A 90 degrees rotation makes it landscape. A 180 degrees rotation flips it upside down. And a 270 degrees rotation turns it to the other landscape. So shapes work the same way. Each corner, each vertex follows the rule. And when you join them, the whole shape has rotated. Now, these basic rules are all your toolkit for most GCSE questions, but sometimes rotations happen around points other than the origin, like 1, 1 or 2 and negative 3. And that's what we'll explore in the next video.